Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today with 1741 on the Terrace, located at the historic Hotel Bethlehem. And joining me in the kitchen today is Executive Chef Michael Adams. Great to have you back in the kitchen here. Great to be here, as always. <laughs> what are we making today? We are going to do a uh, pan-seared salmon. We're nice. going to serve it with some uh, spaghetti squash, mm -hmm. and we're going to make a curry vinaigrette, and then we're going to do a nice little salad to finish it up with some sunflower sprouts and and uh, and some toasted pumpkin seeds. Well, it sounds perfect for fall. Let's get started. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we're just going to start. This is going to take about an hour and 15 minutes in the oven. All right. Well, I don't think we have so, that much time. Well, we, we're going to use the magic. You know, I already <laughs> did one before the show Perfect. started. So we're just going to cut the spaghetti squash. Okay. Um, and we're going to just nip the ends Hard off a little bit. Hard squash like this is, it, it can be challenging to, to cut for a home cook in the kitchen. Do you have any tips? You're just really getting after it there. Sharp, heavy knife. Heavy knife. Yeah. Okay. That's it. All right. Or a cleaver, if you have a heavy meat cleaver. Everyone has that and cleaver that came with one... their knife set that they never use. Right. So and one big whack. this is an appropriate time. Perfect. Bones in winter squash. All right. It'll cut right through them. Now you have a use for your cleaver. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put that in the pan. Okay. And we're going to speed up the process a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to um, we're going to add some cinnamon stick, some star anise. So these are some nice aromatic fall flavors. Absolutely. And we're going to add one of those bay leaves over there. Yep, and we'll tear it up. And then we're just going to put a little sliced ginger root. OK. No need to peel here. No need to peel. We're just going to going to steam it. Keep it easy. That's here. how I like it. And then we're going to add a little bit of boiling water. This will speed up the cooking process a little bit. That's just going to kind of give it a little jump start. Oven's already hot. Great tip. Now we're going to add a little bit of honey. Mm. Honey just kind of sweetens the whole thing up a bit. And we're going to pop that in the oven for about an hour and 15 minutes. Okay. So now we're going to do the um, curry vinaigrette. So we're going to do this a little differently. Usually, you know, your your vinegar and your mm -hmm. your your oil, your fat. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to enhance the flavor of the vinaigrette, and we're just going to add a little bit of shallot and carrot. Hmm. So shallots are very commonly found in vinaigrettes, but you don't see carrots in them too often. What was no, your this is so this is just going to sweeten up the vinaigrette a little bit, mm -hmm. and it's just going to add a little balance to it. Nice. So we're just going to take some carrots and the shallots. Is this going to be cooked? We are. We're going to ah, okay. sweat them down in a little bit of oil, and we're also going to we're going to bloom the curry a little bit. So we're going to sweat that into it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to strain that vinegar off, and it's just that by itself is going to taste really good. Cool. You have and great knife techniques, by the way. You always impress me with that when you're here. Well, thank you. <laughs> so we're just going to add a little bit of neutral oil now. So in this, lots of possibilities with the oil. Okay. You want neutral, but what would work really well if you have coconut oil at home? Oh, okay. That's even going to add another because of the dimension. Co the curry that's happening. Correct. The coconut and curry. So you can use coconut. I'm going to stick with uh, neutral oil today. So that's going to be a warm vinaigrette, I imagine. Yep. Because the coconut oil is solid at room temperature, so I guess Correct. it would have to be. So we're just going to sweat these a little bit. OK. And we're going to add bay leaf again. I'm going to tear that. A little bit of fresh thyme. You always use fresh herbs, including the bay leaf. Yep. I've never seen you use a dried bay leaf, I don't think. No, they're just uh, it's too easy that way. You, know, you have a big jug sitting there for four months. Right, it getting stale. Its, it loses its um, power in the dish. For sure. We'll return with more from The Chef's Kitchen. We now return to The Chef's Kitchen. OK, so we're also going to add again we're going to add a little bit of ginger. Mm-hmm. And again, you're not peeling it. You're just throwing the whole slices just putting in? the whole slices in. And we're going to add a cinnamon stick. 
So is this recipe on the menu or going to be a special at 1741 on the terrace? So we typically will run it as a special mm -hmm. uh, in the restaurant, so it's not always on the menu. Right. But a um, couple of weekends in the fall, uh, we've been getting a great response from it, so uh, we'll continue running So then keep it coming, it. Yep. absolutely. And how are things going at the restaurant these days? Uh, we're very busy, and um, yeah, we're just getting ready. We we uh, we recently moved our ice cream shop from the hotel. We moved it across mm -hmm. the street. We have a huge space over there. Fantastic. So um, they're doing needed to expand there. All kinds of different things over there, and more more seating, and nice. we'll be serving our signature Even more ice hot cream. chocolate there yes. as well. So that'll be nice. Perfect for the upcoming cooler months. So. At this point, all we're going to do is we're going to add the, now we sweat, sweated those till they're translucent. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to add the rice wine vinegar. So we're just going to use the, this is actually um, seasoned rice wine vinegar. Okay. And um, it's very sweet. But once we have all of these aromatics, the ginger and the cinnamon and everything else, it probably already has... Yeah, you can already taste all of those ingredients in there. We're just going to simmer oh, that for about 10 Thank minutes. You. Oh, absolutely. It tastes like a lot more than just rice wine vinegar, that's for sure. So then we're going we're gonna to get another pan here. Okay, so... Um, Kind of an important part of this mm -hmm. is we're going to um, I'm going to cook out the curry a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sweat it a little bit in the oil. So the actual curry powder. Correct. There's all different curries. This is just right. your regular grocery store yellow curry. Yep. Um, it's easy to get. Definitely. It's very neutral. It's not too hot. So um, a lot this of different is, curries. Out yeah, there. this is appropriate for the dish. Perfect. So we're just going to sprinkle this and bloom this a little bit in the hot oil. So you're really going to kind of bring out all the flavors and kind of toast the spices, I guess. Correct. Wow. And you and can, you can smell immediately that. smell it. Yep. It's so fragrant. Mm. And then we're just going to take that and we're going to pour. Wow. All nice. right. Look at that. And we're going to let that simmer. This is a really again. cool technique. So we're going to add a little salt. Again, see where we're Ooh, at. That vinegar really hits you in the nose. You into it? You have to taste. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Just even even at this point in the cooking process, there's just so much flavor there. And as we reduce it, that flavor is only going to become more concentrated. Woo! And then, You're not uh, kidding. And then wow. Uh, it's delicious gonna, already. Yeah, so we're just going to let that, we're going to turn that down. We're just going to let that simmer. Okay. All right. So the, we're going to, this is going to be for the uh, the beginning of the salad now. So butternut squash, just like the uh, spaghetti squash that we did earlier, you are making that look like it's easy to do. It's not. It is not. <laughs> So you Clean. go and peel it with the knife itself. You yes. don't bother with a vegetable peeler here. No, I'm just going to peel it with the knife. You can. It does have you can a use fairly a fairly thick skin. It but. does, but you can use a vegetable peeler mm -hmm. if that works for you. Okay. I guess you do this quite a bit, don't you? Uh, not as much as I'd like to, but <laughs> but uh, yes, on on occasion, I'm able to pick up you a look, knife. Believe it or not. Certainly, look like you've had some practice. And we're just going to square these off. Okay. So you mentioned this is for a salad. Are you going to keep this raw? So no, okay. and that's what I have the boiling water on over there for. Uh -huh. So we're going to blanch it slightly again. We're going to we're going to hit that that water with some of the some of the aromatics so that the butternut tastes good when we're composing the the little salad we're going to make. I mentioned your knife skills earlier, but I mean, look at the precision here. This is well, that's just sharp knife. Sharp, sharp knife, knife, but a, a talented hand. We'll return with more from the chef's kitchen.
We now return to The Chef's Kitchen. So for the butternut, we're gonna just do bay leaf, cinnamon, salt, and for this one, we're just gonna add a little bit. We're gonna add fresh cilantro at the end of the dish. Okay. But we want the, uh, the fresh cilantro flavor to go into the butternut, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of infusing flavors here today. And we're just gonna put these in here. <clears throat> And how long and will these just, take to cook? So about three minutes. So really, really fast. Yeah. And um, we're going to add a little bit of honey to that as well. Just a touch. Butternut squash is so nice and sweet already, but I guess that really just helps to enhance that. Absolutely. All right. So now we're going to do the, we're just going to get the salmon ready here. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the salmon. Um, is there a particular type of salmon you like to use? Because when you go to purchase it, there's so many different options nowadays. Right, so my first choice would be uh, wild salmon. Mm -hmm. um, and typically we run that as specials because it's so inconsistent Seasonal, what we can sure. get. Yep. Um, but on the menu, most of the time we use um, organic New Zealand salmon. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a shame, but in our country we can't certify things as organic. The farms right. cannot do it. Um, so we're buying from uh, New Zealand. It's organic. Um, Sustainably and those sourced. Huge nets, free floating out in the mm -hmm. ocean, and they're using all fish meal uh, feed. Right. They're not using GMO corn or soybeans right. or any of that. I think it's stuff. important to really to point out that there's um, there's good examples and bad examples of farm raised seafood. It's not all bad. And this is the New Zealand salmon that we have. Correct. Right. And then we're going to keep this really simple. Just a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to season both sides because we eat both sides. Absolutely. Right? I do anyway. And you're doing um, skin off, skinless today. Correct. Because I know sometimes you do a lot of skin on fish. Yep. All right. So we're just going to take the salmon presentation side down first. Is that because it's going to get the better color? Uh, that's just the side you want to present, right? So exactly. you just put presentation sides. So the one that sides. you flip, yeah. there yep. you go. Yep. All right, so here's what we're, we're going to finish up the vinaigrette. So all those aromatics just get strained out, so we only have the liquid left. Correct. Very nice. So is this finished or do we need to add anything to it? So no, now we're going to finish the vinaigrette. Of course it's not finished. So we're going to taste it and see where we are on sweetness. And we're probably going to add a little bit of honey. I like it that way. I'm just going to add a little bit. Just little to kind of tame honey. that acidity yep. a bit. So I'd say about a tablespoon. Okay. And we're going to add some more. Fresh ground black pepper. And all we're going to do is, now you can do it in a blender, um, but we're just going to emulsify this in the neutral oil into okay. this. There are so many possibilities with this, mm -hmm. like even from this stage. Right. Um, you know, the, the, the oil, the coconut oil, so you want that warm. Of course. You can serve it chilled. I mean, this can go on, you know, you can save it for other dishes. Yeah, you, know, you can use it on salads and um, all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. so. That base, those aromatics. Yeah. Um, sometimes we'll do um, a sauce and add coconut milk to it or heavy mm. cream and the red curry. Great with like mussels. Scallops, yeah. mussels, all kinds of things. So the salmon looks about, see how it's halfway cooked there? Yes. We're going to flip that over, and then I'm going to shut the heat off. It's a beautiful presentation right. side. I'm going to leave it on for about 30 seconds, and then I'm going to shut the heat off. All right, so our butternut squash is ready here. And our spaghetti squash should be just about ready. Yeah, so I'm curious to see what you do with the spaghetti squash at this point. We'll return with more from The Chef's Kitchen. We now return to The Chef's Kitchen. So an hour and a half has gone by. Hour and a half has gone by. And let's turn it off. 
Okay, so we're just gonna take these and we're gonna remove the seeds. Mm -hmm. You can see how like the honey in it. You can yeah, it's kind of caramelized. It smells smell. incredible. You I smell mean, that cinnamon and the star anise. Now, now we're could, just gonna scrape the seeds out here. Would you save those seeds and do anything with them? Roast you, them or? You know, if I'm going to roast them, mm -hmm. I would uh, remove the seeds before okay, you pop that, makes that in sense. the oven and then remove all the, you know, all the, the pulp in there. Things, yep. yeah. And then uh, what I typically do is, again, I use, it depends on the oil, like I use coconut oil sometimes, mm -hmm. and then you can season them with ever, whatever you like, cayenne pepper, or uh, you can sometimes even I'll roast hazelnuts in with them. Oh, nice. Um, and, and use those on, on salads and crust mm. uh, different fish, like cod, and then sear it. So there's a million possibilities. Yum. So Looks there's great. our spaghetti squash. So you're just, you kind of just pull it apart with a spoon to get those little that's, strands. That's it. All right, so we're just gonna pull these butternut right out of the water. I'm gonna remove some of these. Oh, so right in there with the sunflower sprouts. Yep, and then nice. we're gonna wilt those a little bit. Mm. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna add the fresh cilantro. Cilantro is such a nice, fresh complement to the curry. It's delicious. Yeah. You can smell it too. The second it hit that hot butternut squash, you really got the fragrance. All right. And we're going to dress it with the vinaigrette. All right. So, and we're just going to take a few of the pumpkin seeds. Nice little bit of crunch. And just take the spaghetti squash and the salad. Beautiful. It looks so light and fresh. And you're you're used to seeing fall food so heavy and you know, comfort food. Right. Um, this is and this nice is a change. really nice, mm -hmm. you know, it's a really nice fresh dish. I mean, we're, you know, we're still getting, you know, local, you know, the local farms are, Absolutely. especially when the weather's warmer, they're still. It's harvest season. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's fantastic. Everything's in season. And we have our salmon. And a little more vinaigrette. Beautiful. <clears throat> Very nice, light, seasonal, healthy. It looks fantastic. All right, so joining us for the tasting is Rafe D'Amico of Ozymandias Wines. He's going to pour us something amazing and tell us a little about it. Uh, so before we get into the wine, I wanted to talk a little bit about pairings because we have a very fall dish here uh, that Chef put together, which looks amazing. And, you know, some of the aromatics that are present, you have cinnamon, you have ginger, and traditionally a lot of people will look at fish and say, oh, you know, just across the board you pair fish with white wine. Well, not, not always true. I mean, you, you pair based off of what you like and then what the details of the dish are. We're going to pair it with the red wine. And like Nicole said, this is Ozymandias Wines. This is our Cuvée J. Miriam wine. And it's actually named after the artist whose piece is featured on the label here. Jay is a scholarship recipient. The Ozymandias Wines Scholarship at the New York Academy of Art uh, gives her a scholarship for her second year at the school. And we feature her artwork on the bottle. And she actually helped in selecting the varietals that, nice. that are present in this wine. So those varietals are Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot, so it's a Bordeaux style mm -hmm. type of wine. And I think, I think it'll marry very nicely with the fish and the, uh, the squash that we have here. Sounds amazing. Um, thank you, yeah, and it's, uh, you know, so to continue the theme of pairings, you know, we, we like pairing the wine um, with artists. Oh, pardon. <laughs> with artists that actually uh, match the wine. So we'll start you off, Chef. Thank you. There you go, Nicole. Thank you. 
And what do you uh, what do you smell in the wine? Mm. What kind of aromas do you get? I smell Currants. a little, yeah, mm. a little cinnamon, a little cherry. Yeah, and it, it um, the the red, uh, the Cabernet Sauvignon uh, portion of this red was aged uh, 36 months hmm. uh, in lightly toasted oak, so it's not going to be too heavy oak. You do get some of those fruit notes that'll also enhance the dish. So maybe give it a try before, and then we'll try it again after, so you get the the complimentary uh, notes. Sounds great. Cheers. So cheers. Mm. That's really nice. nice. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Really Very nice. nice. Very smooth. Well, I can't wait to try it along with this dish. I hope you all will join me. All right. Mm. That's delicious. You can really taste the cilantro, too. Mm -hmm. I love cilantro. The curry vinaigrette with the salmon is beautiful. Mm. Curry can be such a strong, overpowering flavor, but it's so mild here, and it just complements the salmon perfectly. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. Michael, it's great to have you on the Chef's Kitchen. You're welcome back here anytime. Thank you. Always As are you. Here. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs>